beloved viewers, you are most welcome to our channel Poetry Online. In this video, we shall be discussing how to write a white standard literature in English essay in 5 steps. Kindly subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get updated on all our new videos. Once again, let us assure you of a very interesting discussion. Get ready for this lesson. The purpose of any literature essay is to examine certain aspects of an artistic work, being it a poem, a novel, or a play. The West African Examination Council expects candidates to know the content of each of the selected books and poems, and not just their summaries. Also, the examination body expects candidates to fully understand and appreciate whatever they have studied or read. Essay questions on literature in English may include questions on characters, language, style, major themes, literal devices, setting, diction, and many more. In order to write a wide standard literature in English essay, here are the tips you need to follow. Tip number one, understand the question. The first thing you need to do before answering any essay question on literature is to understand the question fully. Literature in English is not like other subjects where a candidate can look around and find clues to the answers of a question. No, reading the text or knowledge of the selected books and poems is what you need to answer the questions correctly. Let's consider the following example. Comment on the theme of racial discrimination in Maya Angelou's cage bed. Here, candidates may know a lot about discrimination. They may know a lot about racial discrimination. However, without reading the poem, such a candidate cannot attempt this question correctly. Also, a question like, comment on the use of personification in the Song of the Women of My Land by Umar Farouk Sisi. Here again, candidates may know what personification is. However, without reading the poem or without any idea of the content of the poem, such a candidate may not be able to answer the question correctly. Do not go out of the text to present answers. All the answers you present must have a connection with the text and at the same time must have a connection with the question you are answering. Again, candidates are advised not to answer questions on books they haven't studied. This will only lead to deviation and digression. What you need to do in this step is to figure out exactly what the question expects or demands of you. Is the question asking you to write on a character? or to compare and contrast some characters, or the question is asking you to comment on the diction, structure, theme, or setting of the poem. Always remember that no literature question will ask you to write on an entire book or poem. Therefore, presenting summaries to stories and poems as answers to literature questions is wrong and should be avoided by candidates. Candidates are advised to focus on the key words of the question. This will guide you to present only the relevant ideas to meet the requirements of the question. Tip number two, break down the question into main ideas. To be able to answer any question correctly, you need to break down the question into main ideas and make a rough work of all the points or ideas you want to capture in your essay. Here, you can compile a list of quotes to illustrate or suit the demands of the question in your rough work. Doing this will help you to remember any necessary idea when writing so that you don't forget your points when you start answering the questions. Candidates are advised to always make sure that the points they write on are relevant to the question and also Support the points you write on with quotations from the text. Your quotations should be one or two lines and must be appropriate to whatever you are writing on or don't quote at all. Tip number three, write a short introduction. 
Once you fully understand the question and the planning stage of your question is complete, move to write a short introduction to the question. Your introduction should be a summary of the text in one or two sentences. Your introduction needs to be exceptionally brief. In the same paragraph, introduce your stance on the question if the question demands any. For example, do you think Bucci and Micheta is fair to men in her novel Second Class Citizens? This is an open question. The question demands you to either support the idea or disagree with it. Therefore, in answering such a question, you need to choose a stance before you begin the body. However, a question like, comment on the clash of culture in The Lion and the Jewel by Wallace Oyinka. In answering such a question, you don't need to either agree or disagree with the question, since the question is not open. This is a straightforward question, therefore, you don't need to choose a stance or agree or disagree with the question. Tip number four, write the body of your race. This is where you will use your rough work to construct paragraphs. Each main idea should be a paragraph on its own and support it with relevant explanations from the text. Start each paragraph with a general sentence to introduce the main idea you want to express. Your explanation should include details about the main idea. Don't talk about one thing and bring explanation of another thing or bring examples that do not correspond with the main idea. Give examples from the text to support your ideas or arguments. Always remember to link your points, explanations and examples to the easy topic at hand. Tip number five, write a conclusion. The conclusion is a summary of all the points and ideas mentioned in your essay. Always remember that no new or extra information or idea should be added to the essay at the concluding part. Just as the introduction, your conclusion should be exceptionally brief. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video.